I have one of the best jobs in the world, moulding the youth of tomorrow. Miss, is it called a forehead because you can fit four fingers on it? Why do we have to study English? I already know how to speak it. Miss, is an egg a vegetable? And then there's the parents. I brought Carla's diary. Look, there's nothing in it. I'm worried you're not sending them enough homework. He's gone backwards this year. He's just not suited to a structured environment. He needs his freedom. He's a creator. Jordan's not the type of boy who can get away with being lazy. He needs rules, structure. I'm sure it's difficult for someone your age being responsible for all these children. The amount of pressure they put on kids today, you know, it's just, can't you just like ease up on the homework a little? Are you single? Oh yeah. If it wasn't for the help of my fellow teachers, I don't know how I'd make it. Actually, no. That's Christian. He's just a dick. This is Dobson, my crutch. If it wasn't for her, there's got to be a better way. Evening, ladies. How's it going? Mm. Yeah. You know, I don't even know why they make me come to these things. What's in here? Oh. I mean, nobody wants to meet the sports teacher. Okay. Ah. Darling, it's not so bad once you know the tricks of the trade. There are tricks? Sure. Like, try putting a bowl of hard lollies on a desk. Like, minties or toffees, that sort of thing. And then the first thing you do when you seek the parents is offer them a lolly. They're going to spend the whole interview chewing and picking their teeth. Shit, that's brilliant. Standard fare, darling. And the other thing is, don't ever forget, parents know their children. They might not want to hear a teacher tell them that little Johnny is the missing link, but if you're tactful, let's just say he has a very relaxed attitude in class. Right. He's a lazy shit. That actually works. Mm -hmm. You could do what I do. What's that? I get it. It's my booking shit. Mm. Have a look at the second name on the list. Jenna Hayes. Who's that? A porn star. Oh, you've got to be joking. No. Sorry, Miss Hamilton. My 8.30 slot is already taken. Bruce Wayne? Hillary Clinton. Christian, you can't do this. Fine. Do it your way. He is such a dick. Still, probably should have done that for my last one. Who have you got? Mr. Whitman, Sam's dad. Why would you put him last? Don't you remember what happened last semester? How can I forget? Mrs. Hammond. Yes, hi, Mr. Whitman. I think what we've got in Sam's case is a bit of a failure to communicate. Uh, okay. Mr. I'm sure you're in a tough position. A young teacher like yourself, with so many students to cater for. But it seems you're just not getting through to Sam. Oh, I'll admit, Sam certainly can be challenging to communicate with at times. Try and keep up, Sam. No, the letters have to be exactly two millimetres apart, or I'll have to start again. What exactly are you trying to say? Oh, just that Sam brings an interesting dynamic to the classroom. Sam? Sam! Look, I'm not here to tell you how to do your job. Do you know what scaffolded learning is? Yes, scaffolded learning is when you break up the curriculum. You know what? I think I'd be better off taking this discussion to the head of your department. I don't think we're getting anywhere here. Personally, I just think he needs to get laid. <laughs> You volunteering? Mm. God, no. I mean, I mean, surely there's got to be a way to tell him that his son's a little, I don't know, aspergery? These are the times you just can't do it alone. You either stop caring altogether, oh, 
Would you like a lollipop? Or you rely on your friends. Because friends, true friends, tend to have a knack for coming through when you need them. Mrs Hammond. Mr Whitman. Would you like a lolly? Mrs Hammond, please don't take offence at what I have to say. But I've already voiced my displeasure to your principal about not being able to get Sam into a new class. But we keep hanging our hats in those moments that have already gone, dear. When you love yourself so proper and prim, a timely excuse okay, Everybody stay grim. calm. If we can have you all, well, please stand and move in an orderly manner towards the double doors. Thank you. Everybody out! Let's go! Clear your path to the left! To the left! When you wake up and you're gone Quack, quack, quack.